Hi, everybody. Last math lesson for the week, lesson 13. I can interpret the quotient as the number of groups or the number of objects in each group using units of three. So remember, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. All right. Go ahead and when you finish hearing my voice, hit pause and practice skip counting by threes to 99. Okay, now it's time to practice skip counting by fours to 100. Go ahead and hit pause. All right, solve the multiplication equations below, then rewrite them as division equations. Okay, cool. So let's look at two times three. So I'm going to think that through. Two, three times. Two, four, six. Okay, so if I want to rewrite that as division, remember, it's just flipped. So that would mean 6 divided by 2 equals 3. I also could write 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Okay, let's try over here. 3 times 3. 3, 6, 9. So that tells me 3 times 3 is 9. So the inverse of that, or the flip-flop, is 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 5 times 3. I'm going to do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That gives me 15. So to do the inverse of that, I could say 15 divided by 3 equals 5. I could also say 15 divided by 5 equals 3. And 9 times 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. That's where I stopped. 27. So my division equation would be 27 divided by 3 equals 9. I could also say 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Okay, Mark spends $16 on two video games. Each game costs the same amount. How much does each video game cost? Okay, so let's think about what I do know. I do know that there are two video games. So I'm going to make two brackets in my tape diagram. And I know that all together he spent $16. Um, and I need to share that between these two games. So I can fair share to figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So each game costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. I double check this. Yes, that's also eight. So that would mean that 16 divided by two equals eight. All right, three students equally share a pack of 12 pencils. How many pencils does each student get? Okay, so they're sharing a pack. There are three students, one student, two student, three student. And they are sharing 12 pencils. So I'm gonna fair share these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I can see that each student is going to receive how many pencils? Four. So 12, a pack of 12 pencils divided between three students equals four for each student. A school buys 18 boxes of pencils. Each class gets three boxes. How many classes get boxes of pencils? Okay, so in this one, we know how many are in a group. We know that each classroom gets three boxes, right? And we know there are 18 boxes all together. So that means that we have to keep drawing classrooms until we run out of boxes of pencils. So here's another classroom. One, two, three. So that makes six. I got to get all the way to 18. So one, two, three, that makes nine. 
One, two, three, that makes 12. We gotta get all the way to 18. One, two, three, that makes 15. I think I get one more. That makes 18. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So that means that 18 divided by three equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six.